All right, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're putting the subframe back in the car and getting everything buttoned up. So uh, that's what's gonna happen. Also, I'd like to take one more second to give a thank you once again to Ryan over at Auto Detour for lending me his impact for a little bit extended of a time. I appreciate that more than you know. So let's uh, dive into getting the subframe back into the car, getting all the ball joints, tie rods and all that stuff into it and let's finish this project up. Yeah, yeah, let's go. 
Let's go. <laughs> well, as you can tell, she's finally in. Let's get it going. All right, well, we got everything we needed to finish this up. We had an issue with the upper control arm. It was spinning. It didn't want to uh, catch on the nut, so it was stripped out. So we got a new one of those for this side, finally. It's all put back together, so realistically, it's exhaust, front subframe, and uh, brakes and tires, and some power steering fluid, and a couple little things just to button it up. It definitely will need an alignment. That's for sure. It needs two new tires, so I can put... I believe it's this one and this one back on. As you can tell, the subframe was so out of a line that it chewed up tires. So let's finish this project up so we can finally jack it back down and... What are you doing over there? She's helping, let's see what she's doing. What are you doing? Oh, that's a needle nose player, sweetheart. Be careful, okay? Just put it down. So let's get it finished up here. Well, in the last clip, we got the exhaust header put back on and the downpipe ran to the test pipe and we got everything else suspension-wise hooked back up. We got the new control arm in, the front subframe connected to the engine cradle, inner outer and bellows on both sides done, new sway bar links, new control arms, new ball joints, one new axle on the right side. So now all that's left is to put the tires back on and uh, go get this thing aligned. Well, that's going to wrap this video up, you guys. Um, I'd like to give two thanks really quick to Ryan over at Auto Detour. His links will be in the description below. He's got a badass Viper and a wicked sleeper F-150 single turbo. And secondly, to my best friend Rob, who helped me drop the engine cradle and reinstall it. Without you, this probably wouldn't have got finished because one person is just not enough. Um, so with that being said, thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you in the next one.